Welcome to this video. I'm going to have a look at meteors that are crashing through Saturn's rings. So before we go any further, when we're talking about meteors, we're mostly referring to smaller objects. So comets are likely to be kilometer sort of size and, and bigger. Uh, meteors, we're looking around about a meter sort of size and a little bit lower, really, around that sort of size. But before we have a look at Saturn's rings and why we think or know that there's actually impacts happening there, let's have a look at other things we've seen on other planets or bodies in our solar system. So in on January 2019, there was an impact on the moon during the lunar eclipse, and it was by about a 45 kilogram object, and it created a, a flash that was observable from Earth fairly easily actually. So you, if you were observing the moon during the lunar eclipse, you likely would have seen this. It would have been a very brief flash, but nonetheless you'd have seen it. Um, so we know that things like this are still occurring on the moon. On Jupiter, Jupiter gets hit all the time by these sort of size objects. And this is an image by the Hubble Space Telescope. And it's got a couple of impact sites where these smaller meter sort of size objects have impacted it and they then left their signature basically in the cloud structure. And Jupiter gets hit quite frequently by these sort of size objects. And these have been picked up by amateurs. So amateur astronomers with fairly modest sized telescopes are also recording these. It's not just Hubble and the larger telescopes that you can see these. And also the Mars rovers. So as they're moving around and exploring on the surface of Mars, they're actually coming across quite a lot of meteorites on the surface that have fell there. So in the middle of this image here highlighted is a iron meteorite that's just sitting on the surface of Mars. And there's actually quite a lot of them. So we know that Mars is still frequently being hit by these sort of size objects as well. And there's always Earth. So we know that we're still getting uh, meteors and these sort of events occurring fairly frequently. So we've had quite a few in Russia the last couple of years. And the, these, again, are similar sort of size. So you're talking meter sort of size, a little bit smaller. Not a lot of them might make it to the surface, though, depending on how big they are. They do burn up as they come through our atmosphere. So when we go to Saturn's rings they are much larger than a planet. So they have a larger surface area than a planet would do. So it seems reasonable that they're gonna get hit quite a lot by these same sort of objects, really. And probably the best thing we've had in the last few years is a spacecraft, Cassini, that's been in orbit around Saturn. So it's been able to witness these events. So here in the middle, highlighted, you've got a bright streak actually in the rings. And this is from a high impact, object that's hit the rings and it's caused a debris cloud which has then been elongated into this bright streak. So the impactors would have been traveling at tens of kilometers per second and then they've impacted the rings and caused this cloud of debris. And there's a few more here highlighted by the arrows actually and you can see you've got this, this cloud of debris on the impact site. Some of them have been elongated quite a bit so they're quite long and stretched. Now that happens because when the impact originally occurs, it would have been a circular cloud of debris. But as the rings orbit and they have this differential rotation rate, they stretch that cloud of debris. So actually it becomes elongated and it happens fairly quickly, actually. So it will happen on the matter of hours. Within a few days, it's likely to have to have disappeared really. So yes, Saturn is getting hit by quite a lot of these objects and they're around centimetre to metre sort of size. So similar to what we might observe on the other planets, our own planet, but they leave a slightly different signature in the rings due to what they are and they get elongated and they do survive there. These debris clouds survive for a few hours unlike what we would see when one impacted in our atmosphere. You'd get a bright streak and it would disappear fairly quickly. So thank you for watching and if you enjoy then you can check out some of the other videos.